We're down in the orchard right now and we're by the chickens. That's right, it's time to give you guys an update on the farm, the family farm. So this spring we got chickens and bunnies and now they're like all grown up and making babies. Um, so here are, remember we got those little baby chicks and they were little yellow chicks. Well now they're all grown up and they're right there. And they've been laying eggs and we've actually started incubating some of the eggs. Oh, we got our little rooster and so we've been getting a lot of eggs and they're incubating. Let's take a look up here. So here's one mama. She's laying some eggs. And there's some eggs in there. It's looking good. So the biggest thing though this year is that we've actually incubated a ton of eggs and now we have a whole chicken coop full of chicks that we actually hatched ourselves. And we did some like videos and Instagram stories about those. Um, so let's go take a look at those because we have a ton that we hatched that are all grown up now. So this. And we're putting it in the incubator. So these are all the chickens that we incubated that are all grown up now. So there's a there's some out here in the little run that we made for them. They're eating some compost. But if we go inside here, this is where most of them hang out. There's a lot of birds in here now. And there's a rooster. Yeah, we got some roosters in here. They're almost all hens, but there are a couple of roosters. There's like three. We got a couple of mamas laying eggs in here. Mm -hmm. And the roosters just fertilize them. That's so good. They seem to really like these nesting boxes that we've built for them. So these and ones right here, this is a rooster. It has three laying spots that they usually lay in, but they don't really lay in any other ones. And so here's, on that so these one are all hens right egg. here, but that's a rooster right there. So that's a, a male, but we've got too many roosters right now. Oh dad, right can now. you show him Elvis? There's oh. Elvis. He's kind of got a cool hairdo. Yep, we so. call him Elvis. <laughs> all right, let's get out of here. I call him Harry. Harry? So roosters are great for meat and the hens are great for eggs. So we've got like five roosters in here and we only want to have two. I so the three extra roosters that we have we're actually going to, to harvest today and butcher for their meat. And uh, we're going to share that experience. And you know, I have a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we have a few more chicks over here that are growing up. These ones are about two months old uh, that we incubated and hatched ourselves. Yeah. And so they are just some babies that that's are growing. The water, that's the food. They need some water, buddy. Yeah. You give them some water? Well, yeah, we've got seven birds in here. And the way, the way I give They're them They're growing up water, very nicely. The way, the way the yep. Go ahead. Just let it go in there until it's done. Good job, Corbin. You gotta do this every day, right? Yep. Good boy. Okay, Becca, are you ready for the harvest? I think so. It's a sad part of life, but it's part of life. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's how, so it, you can what life it. is like on a farm, right? And, and I don't want to do farm life halfway. I mean, it's not even about doing it halfway. It's about it's about not letting things go to waste. Yeah. And um, so I, I think I'm ready. Also, I'm really excited to have some food that I know what's in it. Yeah. You know, like there's not a question if it has if it has like I don't know any preservatives or anything that I don't know what they add to chicken in the store, but 
I feel really excited to have chicken that I know is like healthy, it led a happy life. I mean, look at how happy, these are happy chickens. Are you a happy chicken? It's a happy chicken. It's not overweight, it's not overfed, it's not underfed. It's got like you can tell when they're happy, you know, and they're happy. We've let these birds free range and they get to eat bugs and they get to run around and live good lives. They get to go underneath of the orchard and that's like, you know what it reminds me of? It's like in Charlotte's Web when the rat's like, each night when the lights go out, it can be found on the ground all around, la dee da da. Sure, so we've got three roosters that we're gonna harvest today. Um, I've never actually done this. This is my first time, but Becca's parents have done this before, so I'm gonna learn a lot from them. Um, I've actually never done it either. If You've I never done it? But I know if, that some of my siblings have had to. If I okay. give this plum to them, they'll come packing. Yeah, they love those plums. Let's watch. That's actually the reason why they're not free ranging right now is because uh, grandma's garden has a lot of ripe fruits and vegetables and we don't want them to eat it all until we're done harvesting. Yeah, because then we'll let them out again. They're only for people. That's right. And we're people. So we got to go catch those three birds. We've got a cage ready for them, but uh, they're about six months old now, so they're ready. I'm gonna get them and that's. More. That's the time frame that we're looking at for the perfect age. Did you guys know I have a phobia of if chickens? I can get it right now. We have no. a bunch of chickens. But it's weird because it's like a phobia that only pops but, up. Like don't they're not me. Me. But it's enough that like I get around them and then I like my body naturally pulls away from them. Like I can't like it's very 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 it would take every fiber of my being to like concentrate to grab one. Yeah. So he's going to grab mine. Okay. Here you go Becca. <laughs> Okay, so we have the chicken catching cage here. So good birds, I'm gonna put all three of them in here. So we can use this to transport them wherever we're going to for harvest. Okay, so yeah, the chicken, so the hens and roosters. If you have too many roosters for your hens, they don't lay because they're constantly being mated. So. Yes, you got one. Alright, here's the first one. There's the second one. And what kinds are these? These ones are mixed. They're mixed between They're mixed a few. between that one, right? No. Oh no? No, there are a few different breeds. Okay. Don't don't look at that. So these ones are the mixed ones. Okay, so we're keeping this big one white right there. So the red stars are these tan ones over here are all red star hens. Okay. And the males are white. Oh, so, so they're all the same breed, but the white the males are white and the And okay. the tan ones are, are the hens. And then And then I've got a rooster here. This one right oh. in front of us is a barred rock rooster. Right here. So I want to keep one. one full barred rock rooster. Because they're really good. Yep. And we've got a lot of barred rock hens. And oh yeah, uh, lots of barred rock. So that is a barred rock. It's that mixed. It's like white and black. Yep, that's a barred rock. Zebra colored. <laughs> so we're keeping one barred rock rooster. There's the barred rock rooster and there's the red star rooster. Yep, red star rooster. That red star rooster is like the classic. What is that? What is that? <laughs> Longhorn um, leghorn. Yeah, what is, what is he saying? Well, I do say. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got these three roosters here that we're going to be butchering today. And we've raised them from chicks. We raised them from eggs. We incubated them when they were eggs. We hatched them. We raised them and fed them and cared for them and loved them. And honestly, it's sad. Like there's a part of me that feels sad. But at the same time, I think it's, there's something pretty incredible about raising the animal, loving it, caring for it, and knowing that it led a good life and that it's giving up your, its life. I think is important is that we don't just say, I'm gonna eat this food from the store, and it, I, and the thing is, when you eat the food from the store, it doesn't even affect you. You don't even think about how it had to die for you to eat it. People don't even realize that chicken nuggets are chicken. Like, it, they're so disconnected from the source and the reality of the situation. I think, I think it's easy to, I think it's easy to eat meat when you don't know where it came from. <laughs> But knowing where it came from and actually being part of that process gives us a lot more respect and there won't be any going to waste. I That's can tell you right. That for I feel sure. like, you know, when you, just like the kids, they care about every egg so deeply. They're like, 
if this if this gets wasted they're like gonna be the ones chewing people out you know what I mean right. like not me I don't have to do that because they appreciate it they put the work into it and it's just the same with the chicken like when they recognize that these are the animals that we are eating and that they are part of it's part of life it's part of a circle of life and it's right. and it's a blessing to be able to have them then they appreciate their food and they don't just Ignore where it came from and eat it anyway. And okay. oh, are you ready, Becca? It's gonna be educational. And we'll keep it classy. We'll keep it classy. You guys aren't gonna see any bad stuff, but no. But we want to share the experience with you guys as much as possible. Okay, let's go. So we're not, we're not keeping one of the <laughs> we do have a These ones are not bar rock. But you, do you understand why we are doing it? Oh, it's so Yeah. But they could be really good pets if we wanted them to be. Because they're not like mean or anything. Because we raised them with the other roosters and they didn't. You know, when you do that, then they don't attack each other in the future. We're yeah. harvesting like all the chickens. Then they'll be really nice roosters. Yeah. This is very sad, but a necessary part of life. And uh, this is what we have. We got two butchered. We got last one here ready to go. If these get older, they get really like Sean DeClaire was saying me, remember? Yeah, Sean DeClaire. Another one that bites Another one that's cute. Okay, well, we'll get it to this point, then it'll be... We need to do it out here. Yeah, these are six chickens. months old. Six months old chickens. So right now we're just letting the blood drain out. But we're gonna get a big pot of boiling water to dip it in. That'll make it easier to blood. Yeah, 120 degrees. Yeah. Water at 120 degrees and dip them. And that basically scalds them. And then after that, the feathers will just come right off. It's not very hard at all. You just run your hand across it and just sweep right off. Michael's filling up the pot. Huge. This is why we should have done it before rigor mortis. Wow. Just plucking all the feathers off now. Yeah, we can just. That looks a little bit more like what I'm used to seeing. I know. It's so weird though. Like sad and weird, but also really good in a way. I was telling Michael earlier, doing this is a very similar feeling to me as like when the kids need to be disciplined. Where yeah. it's so sad, like, but they've maybe they've done something really, really naughty, and I know that it will be bad if I don't teach them in a very like strict manner. You know what I mean? Like, and it's not like that always, but it's just when something bad happens or they do something really naughty, and I'm like, oh no! I like it's that feeling of dread. Like I have to, I, I need to discipline my kid. I need to teach my kid, even though I know it's going to be hard on them. That's how it feels to do this, you know? You have to do it, but even though it's going to be hard? Yeah, it's like, it is really sad. Like, 
but also like I I appreciate this chicken. Like I, we didn't yeah. want to have to do this, but we do need food, and that's the purpose of having chickens. Yeah, and I am so happy for it to just let us be able to do this because if it didn't, I'd just be like, yeah. But for actually being willing to do this, it's just like that's so the purpose, nice. right? It's, yep. It's like the best thing. All right, we got these chickens all plucked, and uh, now we're cutting the feet off, and uh, then we're gonna pull all this stuff on the this inside out. This is my out. first time touching one. What does it feel like? Is it gross? No, but so, it feels like something. It's just like skin. It feels like a ball. Yeah. A the little tiny ball that's fluffy. Yeah. Chickens. You, the deed is done. Wow. Got all the guts wow. out, and it's ready to cook. Really. This is really what it looks like when it's from the store, except for not so zombie skin, but. <laughs> we scalded it in the hot water and that's why the skin is peeling. It's interesting, I wonder how they do it when it's when it's on a conveyor belt line, you know? I have no idea. But I also kind of don't want to know, it makes me sad. So we got all the guts out over there on the table, it's kind of yucky, so this maybe you don't want to see it. literally had the best life ever. It really did. Yeah. And so, Okay. pretty happy with this like all right, what's going on in here? I am dressing the chicken. Dressing the bird? Yep. Is this what we're having tonight? Yep. Might as well. And this is the It's a lot more skinny than, <laughs> it's a lot skinnier, I think, than most birds you might find at the store. It is, but that's, that's the reality of it, is that it's healthier. Like, when they're fat, they have a lot of fat on them, and they've probably been fed some food that's maybe not so good for them. That's and right. I was watching a documentary, and they said that the birds, like in the chicken nuggets and the chicken sandwiches that you get at like burger places, um, those birds are just fed almost like ground up meat their whole life, and they're so fat and heavy that they never walk. And, and a lot of times when they do, then they get heart attacks and their legs will break because they're so fat and heavy. And so many of the chicken in their poops just die. And right, they, and they, they die of heart attacks. Away because they're, they're so, fat. so unhealthy. So this bird is a healthy bird. And it's skinny, but we're gonna put it in the oven and this is what we're eating for dinner tonight. Oh, I'm so excited! And I'm excited too, like seriously guys, this is all brand new experience for me. I've never raised chickens, I've never butchered a chicken, I've never cooked my own chicken, so I'm really, enjoying the process, and I hope it's as good as anything we might find at like a grocery store. Because I know like the standard of chicken taste that I want. Oh, yeah. As long as it tastes as good, I mean, I'd say that's a win. Well, <laughs> we couldn't wait, huh? Nope. We just dug right in. Here's... I didn't even like... Honestly, if Michael hadn't remembered, I wouldn't have remembered. So you've got a little bit of, uh, there's the leg left over. Have Everybody's... you guys ever heard of rigor mortis? <laughs> Hey, I just so it took a while for the boiling water to heat up to dip the birds in to, to pull off their feathers, and in that amount of time, the birds got stiff. A I little think, bit. You think that's why the meat's a little I bit tough? I think that's why the meat is like really tough. I I want to see you eat it. You haven't had it I yet, have you? Even tried it yet. James says it's hard to chew. It's really delicious, but it's just really. Well, I'm gonna try the white meat first. Okay. I like the texture of it. Definitely chewy. Yeah, you're already seeing it. Mm-hmm. Chewy? And then it's hard But to the chew. dark meat is not chewy. It's like hard. Oh the white meat is better to chew on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I have you better a try the dark meat. meat? The dark meat is kinda like gum, you just chew on it. <laughs> oh, it's kinda like gum, you just chew on it. Oh like a lot. Big thank you to the rooster who's yeah. given his life for us. We didn't tonight. even bless this food. We did. did. Oh yes, we did. I lost my mind. <laughs> it is very chewy. It is way more chewy, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So, but it's good. It is good. It's gotten cold though. Just in that amount of time. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, next time I think when we have to harvest roosters, we will make sure to do it quickly. So that they don't get like fat. That was kind of unexpected. <laughs> but it's really good. I just need to floss my teeth. <laughs>
What lessons have you learned? I've learned that animals have a purpose and that they're not just here to walk around. They're here to give us meat and they're here to help do things for us and they're here to be good things and be good animals. But it's different with animals like dogs. They're kept as pets. Depends on where you live. <laughs> Ellie, what have you learned from harvesting the chickens today? Everything. Everything? Mm-hmm. It was kind of sad when they got killed. Yeah. I've, I've learned yeah, that. Yeah, I've been eating a lot. That's why my face is messy. Mm-hmm. I've learned that butchering chickens is very sad, but it also helps us a lot because the the minerals that are in the body help us. And the heart has tons of nutrients. Yeah. That's true. There's so, a lot of vitamins and minerals in there, in the meat that are very beneficial for, for us to eat. Yeah, but some of the parts in the chicken's body are not good for us to eat. Yeah, like what? Like there we go. Oh. For the oh. intestines. Or like the, the or spot like, that or the shoots out stuff. Yep. Well, we'll get... We'll work on it and get as much as we oh. can, and then I can boil down the rest, and we can have bone broth. Okay. I can make bone broth for the first time ever, and I'm really excited about it. And I've learned how to harvest them all. It was really fun seeing the head not getting chopped up. That part was sad. And eating the meat from it. The meat is good for you. Yep. So. Hello. What do we have here? Hi. Hello. How are you guys? Yes, hello. Well, guys, thank you for joining us today. We had uh, quite the adventure today, and I hope that you guys learned something too. We learned a ton, and uh, honestly, like, this is what life is about. Learning and growing and improving, and we learned a lot today, and I really appreciate you guys enjoying this video and watching it and let me know in the comments below what you guys think if you guys have ever experienced this for yourself and what your thoughts are um, I understand that there may be some people out there who are vegetarian maybe because they don't feel good about eating animals and that's perfectly fine um, so but anyway let us know in the comments what you think about today's video and thank you so much for joining us and we'll look forward to more fun farm Bye. adventures in the future Bye. Bye. Thank you, Camilla, for the wonderful letter.